It's always sad when you hear about the death of great men because of the impact they had in their generation. And certainly, Nelson Mandela was a great man by all measures. This is a man who spent a great deal of his life in imprisonment for fighting for a just cause in his country. 27 years imprisonment. For what? Not because of any bad thing, but for a righteous cause justice, freedom from apartheid, slavery, bondage. And in spite of standing for what is right, he was in prison for 27 years, imprisonment, came out, was given the opportunity to become a president, and could have retaliated against his former enemies. But in spite of all this, he learned to show that you can forgive and live at peace with every man. That is the sign of greatness. And if there is anything we will learn is the spirit of forgiveness. Not because you forget about what your past enemies did to you and many times it is probably true ignorance just because of your race. And when you had the opportunity to punish them or revenge or avenge for all the wickedness they've done to millions of your people, you just learn to live at peace with them. That is the mark of a great man. And Nelson Mandela certainly was a great man. And with the kind of life he, he has lived spending 27 years in imprisonment, hard labor, all the persecution, trials he'd been through, and yet could live to be 95. That is also a real blessing. And today, we can look back and see greatness. Even he was just a living legend because of his impact. And from his examples, many leaders will follow suit and today he's no more but you will forever be remembered and it is also something for us to learn from his life that the mark of greatness is when you have the op this power and the opportunity to do evil to those who once harmed you you show mercy you show mercy he showed mercy to his adversaries. And I believe that's how God blessed him with long life. 95. I envy 95. I want to live to be 95. Wow. That's a mark of a blessed man. That's the mark. However, one of the things I want to talk about is that the death of Nelson Mandela... Also, I believe, from my perspective, marks the closing of a new, uh, an old era in the world of politics. Because when with Nelson Mandela, when you talk about Nelson Mandela, we are dealing with people who have also been into politics for a long time, and his death is marking. A new era in politics globally in the new world so I believe that what is that the old political world has been closed and a new chapter is going to open because this is a man who you are dealing with people like who was the uh, his contemporaries were um, people like Kennedy's and um, People who had impact in their generation, also like uh, Gandhi, Kwame Nkrumah of Africa, Kenyatta, uh, great leaders, Mao Zedong is not a great leader, he was <laughs> a major, but I'm talking about the Stalins and the Mao Zedongs, and these were times where these guys were coming up in the political sphere. and. He has been around for a long time, dealt with many presidents, 
many have come and gone and I believe his death closes the chapter in the new political order and I, I believe a new order is going to be released or opened up very soon and I don't know what that order is going to usher the world into but certainly with the knowledge that Jesus is coming soon any new political order is certainly going to prepare humanity for the soon return of our Lord Jesus Christ so all I can tell you is that we should get ready for some serious changes in the realms of politics globally nationwide because I believe with the death of Mandela closes the chapter of the old and a new chapter will be open I feel strongly that God has been holding back a lot of what could have ended up to be a third world war thinking about countries like Iran and its conflict with US nuclear bomb and with Israel and then Syria you know, all these cool things could have brought about war but God has been keeping it uh, holding it back because there are more souls to be won to Jesus there are more lives to be won to Jesus so God is giving man the opportunity to amend our ways and receive his son Jesus Christ so that none will perish in their sin and end up in hell and that's why I believe that God has been holding back wars that could have led to third world war and brought a collapse to this world we are living in especially when nations like China Russia are supporting Iran and Syria any conflict with Iran or Syria will cause these great mighty nations to support them and the nations like USA will be working alongside with Israel and Canada and London and so at the end of the day you realize that they will pull all the nations involved if there should be any conflict in the Middle East with these nations Iran Syria US China Russia these superpowers will draw many of the nations into it and it would lead to another world order certainly God is holding it back it is just a matter of time it's just a matter of time you and I are to get ourselves prepared for Jesus is coming soon I believe strongly that the old chapter in politics have been closed and a new one is being opened it's all a matter of time it's we are in grace period God is giving man grace repent turn away from your sins receive Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior so that you may have eternal life for God will be coming for his children very soon the question is are you ready if you die today if you are to die today where would you spend your eternity in heaven or in hell heaven is real and hell is also real and Jesus is coming soon and one of the things to I would like you to learn from this video is forgiveness and mercy learn that from Nelson Mandela forgiveness and mercy able to look to the face of your enemies and when you have the opportunity to harm them you show them mercy that strength that's real strength no longer he had long life may his soul rest in peace and may God determine his eternal destination God bless you bye